That's right. This incredible potion will take multiple years right off you. And for a ridiculous price of $5. More useless trash. Those feather heads aren't going to help us with an escape plan. Mr. Peabody? <laughs> Miss Betty, perhaps? Might as well. You never know. Yeah. Oh. 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 Wow, this is so oh. cool! Oh. <laughs> yeah, what is this stuff here? <laughs> oh. But what's making me jump around like this? Yeah, I get it. I've been changed into a flea. Joe, the penitentiary can't keep teenagers inside. Only adults can be kept in prison. Uh -huh. <laughs> Drink up, boys! Uh -huh. <laughs> Whoa, check him out! No more mustache! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Peep! Now that me and my brothers are teenagers, we don't belong here in a grown-up prison. That's the law. See ya! What? The law? Uh, go get the rule books now! Hey, guys, can I come with you? I want to ditch these old guys. Of course. It'll be cool having a girl in our gang. Girl! <laughs> <laughs> hey, you! Do it however you can, but get them back to the real ages. Uh, it's just that I don't remember the magic formula. Aha! Are you good? Sheesh! Adios to this retirement home. Open the doors! <laughs> Mr. Peabody! <laughs> Indeed, according to law, adolescents cannot be held in a penitentiary unless. A social worker is employed by the director to work with them. Eight, nine, hey guys, I got nine hairs on my chest. <laughs> Daughters, let me introduce Eric, your social worker. Hi, kids, I'm here to help you. Being a teenager is tough. Your body changes, acne bursts out all everywhere like on a battlefield. Hair starts growing all over, your voice deepens, <laughs> and most of all, you've got no idea of what you're doing uh, later in life. I do too! Me and my brothers know exactly what we're going to do. Hold up banks! <laughs> <laughs> I want to hold up banks too, and give poor people the money from those nasty rich people! A typical girly idea! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but Robin Banks ain't a real job. A plumber! Now that is an excellent job. And you know, people always need plumbers. I don't get it. Usually fleas don't 300 times higher than the actual size. <laughs> hey, where are your kids going? Come back! Huh? Archaeologist, now that's a fabulous profession. And this time, don't try and escape. I still trust you. <laughs> Follow me. Garbage collection, there's a useful job. And no escape attempts. I'm trusting you. We're free! <laughs> <laughs> Dog groomer, trapper, ballet dancer. <sighs> 53 professions, 53 <sighs> escape attempts. I don't know what to suggest to you guys. How about a social worker like you? Is that complicated? Are you crazy? Social worker, that's a stupid job. I never wanted to do this as a job. I had a dream. I wanted to, I wanted to raise badgers. I know it's silly. But no, it isn't silly. And it's never too late. You're the one who said so. Yeah, that's true. Huh? You're absolutely right. I quit. Uh, Just wait. wait. I'm on if my you way leave, I'll have, have to let them go. That's right. See you around, old phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm warning you. It's the Wild West out there, and it's full of dangerism. Come on, Grandpa. Stop whining and open the doors. Grandpa? Okay, you asked for it. <laughs> 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 hey! 
<laughs> All right, hands up, mustachios. <laughs> hands up. Hey, who are these little kids in pajamas? Ain't it time for your snack with your mama? <laughs> oh. Squeaks. Okay, let's start over. What have I done? The Daltons are out there. This is a catastrophism. The formula. Good grief. Remember it. <laughs> I have been changed into a miserable flea. But what if I'm not a flea, but a louse? And less love here, like yours. And <laughs> <laughs> oh. I remember the formula. But now what difference does it make? <laughs> well then, Daltons, felt like coming back home again. Fabulous Falcon, if you don't mind. Ustra Fabula! Delighted to find you at a more reasonable age, my dear Betty. I say, I have no idea you had that streak of rebellionism. Me? Oh, not at all, sir. I was a model child. As for you, Daltons, your youthful impulses seem to prevent you from remembering that you can't fool an old mm. hand like me. That's funny, because Joe loved fooling around. Shut up, Admiral! <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> Mama, what a fabulous surprise-ism. Ma Dalton, we weren't expecting you. You're Mother Dalton, mother to the infamous Dalton. Yep, that's me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks to your fiendish boys, my bunny of rabbit hmm? runs the most famous penitentiary in the West. Mm -hmm. To what do I owe the joy of your visit, Mama? Why? Do you need reasons for Mama to visit Bunny Rabbit? Just be happy. I'm staying for a whole week. <laughs> four week, four week, four week. That's a good idea. Me too. I'm staying the whole week. Whoa! Imagine, what if we swapped moms? We would be the Peabody brothers in charge of the penitentiary, and Peabody would be our prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, you realize that's a good idea? Their first <laughs> bank robbery at the age of 12 with just a slingshot. My wee Melvin, six months old, already locking up little birds. Well, Mr. Peabody and Joe got dressed up like girls. How bizarre. So you get the picture, right? Start crying and say that Peabody punished you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why is my little baby crying? Mr. Peabody, he punished me! <laughs> what? You? You wait until he hears from me! Hey, you could knock first! I want an explanation, Mr. P. Nobody! Mr. P. No? Bunny Rabbit is the best prison director in the whole wide the west. The best, the best. Come on, don't exaggerate. We'd be just as good at the job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. Nothing complicated about running a prison. Any idiot can do that. Escaping, however, now that is an art. <laughs> come, come, ladies! Right then. Rabbit will hand over his job to your boys for 48 hours. We shall see if they can stop him from escaping. <laughs> no, I will not. That is impossible. Is Bunny Rabbit disobeying? Oh, of course I will, Mama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Okay, no cheating, no batting, and no hair pulling. Shake it! Mr. Peabody down to his cell and give him no special favors. <laughs> you can count on us. Think of it as an educational game. I have the feeling that this game isn't going to be fun. What does a prison director do, Joe? 
He takes off on the sly when nobody's watching his what? I'm free! Yeah! Who? Huh? Hold it, hold it! A director stays in the director's office! No skiving off, boy! <gasps> Right, uh, it's time for the good old methods. Uh, uh, an educational game, my eye. <laughs> Guys, put that runaway in the clink! So who's being stubborn now? Watch your step, Emmett. Watch your step. This jokeism won't last forever. Think educational game, Mr. Peabody, sir. A plan. We make Peabody escape, we sound the alarm, we go after him, and once we're out, we're away. You'll make it, Bunny Rabbit. I've had enough. I'm not playing this game. I'm just waiting for the stupid thing to end. I need the rest. Huh? <gasps> open up! I said open up! It's not going to happen like this. On your toes! A prisoner has escaped! We have to go outside this time, Ma. Yahoo! Yeah! <laughs> See? Bunny Rabbit succeeded and your boys failed for years. <laughs> you were saying? My rabbit, you were supposed to escape. You still have a few minutes left before it's over, sir. The game's not over yet. Enough of this stupid game! The Daltons put me outside. That just isn't fair to me. What? They cheated? Oh, they are gonna regret this! We disobeyed Mama! Yeah, but we're free! I'm ashamed of you! Daltons don't cheat! Our mother is worse than this prison. Deltons escape in style or they don't escape. Full stop! Can't I stay a little longer, Bunny Rabbit? No! And don't call me Bunny Rabbit! Ooh, guess your little rabbit's on it. Shall we go, Mrs. Peabody? <laughs> now over to us. <laughs> How about swapping roles? You and the clink and me keeping watch? That goes for you too, Miss Betty. Think of it as an educational game. <laughs> <laughs> to think we actually had those keys in hand. It's all Ma's fault, us being here still. I don't understand mothers at all. We don't, we either. don't either. Be quiet. <laughs> Ladies need their beauty sleep. <clears throat> Shut up! Ah, we need a new idea. I can't stand watching you sew. Look, Joe, see the beautiful kitchen I'm making for Ma? Ah, you ninny! There, there, there! Haven't you got anything better to do? Dalton's to the visiting room. Someone to see you. Huh? <laughs> 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 Look, Joe, it's a trick mirror. Joe, you haven't changed. <laughs> but, 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 madam? Joanna, and this here's Jacqueline, Wilhelmina, and Ava. We're your cousins from Boston. How about that? How could I ever imagine that the worst bandits in the West would be related to charming young ladies like you? Oh, Mr. Peabody, you're so charming. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> of course, you are my guests here. May I take you on a little tour? Now, what are those girls up to? But, Joe, they came to see us. They're all family just the same. There's something fishy going on. Ooh. <laughs> 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 the Daltons in disguise, and they're trying to escape. I must stop this. 
As you can see, this building's design ensures that it's the most secure prison in the West. <gasps> mm? Joanna, something's stuck in my dress. Oh, that's Renton Dom, our guard dog. He's not mean, just stupid. The probabilities of escape are minimal, except, of course, if one takes advantage of the changing of the guards, which happens every eight hours and last nine minutes, during which the main gates are unattended. But, of course, one needs to have the key, and the guards keep those, and they're not about to hand them over. <laughs> Joe, you little tyke, how are you? Huh? Uh, I'm actually not little. Let's just say, uh, less tall, sort of. How about breaking out of here? I got a plan. Peabody explained everything. Miss Joanna? Oh, you sure look well. Glad to see that. And now we will visit the stables, if you like. Oh, yes, I'd oh. love to. <laughs> so when do we escape? Here's the deal. We get you out, and you help us claim our inheritance from an old uncle who passed on. We're women, so we can't sign the papers to get the loot. A man has to sign for us. Unbelievable, but true. Women in the 19th century didn't have the right to vote and were financially dependent on their fathers or husbands. Luckily, all that has changed. Today, men and women are equal by law. Okay, but we want our share of the loot. Half each and you get your freedom. Is that a deal? Mm, it's a deal. We keep all the dough for ourselves. They can't do anything about it. They're women. You're worse than the law, Joe. You understand? You go to the solicitor with Joanna, and you're her dad, Jason Dalton from Boston. Well, how come I have to be her dad? Because you're hmm? the one who looks the most like him. You're a spitting image. Uh... No discussion. Just sign the papers and let Joanna do the talking. Good morning, Mr. Solicitor, sir. I'm Jason, my cousin Joanna's father. Maybe we shouldn't have sent Avril. Hey, you are going to do a wish. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Banker. I'm Jason Dalton, Pa's half brother. Oh. Cousin, Ooh. we are rich. We'll use this money to improve women's rights. That's right. Enough of male domination. Long live women. Oh, yeah? And what are you feeble little females going to do against the worst bandits in the West? All right, let me think. Do we shoot them? Huh? Well, okay, but at least we're free, aren't we? So we can put our arms huh? down now. Hands up, huh? Daltons. Your charming cousins kept their word. They left you right where they said they would. Trustism and respectism. They pulled one over us, Joe. Yeah, but they're still family. Real gangsterettes, those girls. Worthy of the Dalton name. Oh. 
This one will get away. <laughs> ah! Breaking, always breaking. So when are we gonna break out? Well, I actually enjoy carving rocks. Uh, oh, another dungeon, brother. Must be a cousin from up north, since he's so pale. That's stupid. You ought to be helping us find a way to escape instead of making something so... So glam! So artistic. Did you do this, Avril? Yep. I call it the... Uh, the try-to-thinker. <laughs> bah! Wait till you see what I call you and your masterpiece. Avril absolutely must exhibit his work in town because his talents need to be expressed freely. Oh, freely. Hey, that sounds good. Do you think so? True, I discern a certain talentism, but, uh... Miss Betty's right. Avril is so talented, sir. I've always said so. Oh, yeah? I thought he always said he was useless. Uh, you're the useless ones. I've got a plan. We replace his sculptures and we take off during the exhibition. Got it? <laughs> now, where were we? Ah, I can see the headlines mm -hmm. already. Genius found in congenial penitentiary. I love it! Uh, I mean, I approve. Fantastic! Now all you have to do is get to work, Mr. Artist. <laughs> Magnificent! You are truly a great artist, Mr. Averell. Ooh, more cousins from up north. Cool, let's say hi to them. <laughs> uh, why the stony welcome? Hey, you pause off the material. Ah! Must be an Eskimo tradition, like a welcome ritual. Well, come on, time for phase two. <laughs> Okay, Picasso, paint us now. Sure thing, Joe. To what kind of profile? No, you ninny. Paint us gray all over like his sculptures. You show him. Huh? It's not complicated. Ted. Whatever. Don't move. We're statues. It really, really looks like him. You bet. Almost as ugly as the original. They're leaving already? Too bad, I'll never know why they were so cold. This example of rehabilitation through art is a true fairy tale. Fairy tale? Oh, now I get it. A nasty witch would have spelled them and changed them into statues. I'd better give them a kiss to wake them up. <laughs> Even if I had to cross the desert to find them, I'll rescue them. I have the honor and privilegism to present an immense artist whose talent was revealed in the fine establishment I happen to direct. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you Mr. Avril Dalton. Uh, I'd like to thank my brothers without whom I'd never be here and my mother, Ma Dalton. Make it short. We're not staying Dale. here all day. Frank. Sergio, Brian, Robert, Mo, ow! <laughs> oh, hurry up, numbskull. And now, everyone, I would like to invite you all to discover his work before we go on to the buffet. <laughs> That's it. Stuff yourselves while we make a run for it. Avril, we're going. Mm -hmm. Avril! Mm -hmm. Oh, what a ninny. So, Avril, what will your next piece be? I'm so sure you already have an idea in mind. Avril, we're going. Already? But, Joe, I haven't had any of the canopies yet. Canopies? You want to drape fabric in the yard? That's an excellent idea. Let me talk to the director about it. Okay, now, Joe, I've eaten enough. We can go. Up, 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 up. Not so fast. This gentleman would like to interview you first. <laughs> Your savior is here. Ah, another one. Doesn't work. Well, time to try the other one. 
As soon as the artist finishes his interview, we take off. Uh, what movement? Um, aerobics? Like in gym class? Breathe in and out. One, two, one, two, one, two. <laughs> Artists have such imagination. Now, have I described the new cultural program available in our establishment? You should really hear what I Follow us, Mr. Artist, or I do your face over Picasso style. Nothing. Say, there's some others over there. One last try. And freedom, here we come. Mike. <laughs> but what's that? Hey, get off me. Down. Get off me. The Daltons are escaping. Stop them. Get off. <laughs> going on? We can't move! Wait for me, you're going too fast! <laughs> Bad luck, Daltons. You managed to mix up the paint with the extra slow setting cement. <laughs> Ooh, Avril! Yet another masterpiece! <laughs> It'll go well with my new collection. Avril, help me! I got an itch! <laughs> 